What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, I know I say this pretty much every time I do a shoe review, but I really am excited to talk about these because I've been wanting them for the longest ever since I've seen them on Kylie Jenner's story and a bunch of other influencers' stories when they went on their ski trips. But I do have two boots to show y'all. We're gonna unbox one together since it's still in its original packaging once I got them. And then one pair is already out. So the minute you open the box, you will see that they're in this little reusable bag, which I recommend reusing just in case you don't have a designated boot or shoe bag for when you go on vacation. You can just pop those bad boys back in here, but it's super simple. And they do have these four clasps on the top for you to reuse it. So definitely, yeah, just reuse them. <laughs> um, so at first glance, you guys can tell the shoe really does look like an astronaut boot. So the name is very fitting. The logo is across the top as well as down the bottom at the back. Um, the material on the outside is this nylon type of uh, waterproof material. So it's really good for winter and snow activities or anything. Um, it does have this lace just in case it's a little spacious at your ankle and you can tighten it. And on the inside, it's this styrofoam type of feel with a very cheap fabric. It, it really does feel cheap and it feels like it won't hold up well once you have them for a couple years, but I hope I'm wrong on that. But um, at the bottom, it's about an inch platform. And then the sole, it's pinched right here, which gives it an interesting feel once you put the boots on. Um, I say that because um, once you put them on, it feels like a separate sole for the heel and then a separate one for the rest of the foot. But I'm assuming this pinch design right here is meant for that so that your boot can easily bend when you walk simply because the boot is rounded all around um, I'll show you guys to both of them so I don't know if you guys can tell but by glance there is no left or right um, you kind of have to just pretty much wing it but I'll show you guys a trick that I will probably go by um, I ended up DMing Moon Boots on Instagram and they were super nice and super responsive and they did verify that it is true that they do not have a left or right foot. But um, this trick that I've seen, um, I don't know if you guys can see, okay there you go. So there's a tag, a little small mini tag on the inside and then there's a small mini tag right here. So just by me, like I'm going to go by these little small visual cues. Or you can do it whichever way, where the tag's on the outside, up to you. But I feel like it just makes more sense to go by the tag that's on the inside as my left and then as my right. Because the cushion on the inside, I have not worn them out since winter's already passed and gone and there's no really real reason to wear these out. Um, but the cushion will definitely mold to your feet once, every, once you've been wearing them for a while. So just be mindful because once your left foot is molded into it, and you put your right foot in it's just gonna feel like you've got two left shoes on it's just not gonna fit right so just be mindful of that you can follow that trick that i do where the tags are on the inside or on the outside doesn't matter but um there really truly is no other cues on here like they don't have left or right on the bottom and i mean you could write it if you want but i feel like i don't want to ruin my boots like that so now that the red one is out of the way let's go ahead and open the other one so here's the original boxing that they come in with which my first box for the red ones were pretty beat up pretty bad but i'm assuming it's just customs going through it and retaping it but um i ordered the the shipping for these boots actually came very quick so they come from italy and let's say i order it monday and i get it the following monday so it's actually very quick and they're tracking you can see where exactly where it's at but here are my other boots. So there's nothing else inside the box, but here are my black ones, which I've been dying to get. I originally did not want the red ones. No one else, like the sizing was there and I just order it just to order it because I was afraid the black would never come into the stock. But I finally got the black ones and um, you, I got kind of trigger happy with these because their sizing like they're they're pretty popular i would say right now so your size would probably be out of stock um i ended up reaching out to moon boots on instagram again about if they had any way for me to sign up for a notification to let me know when my size on the colored boots i wanted 
were in and they basically said they don't have that yet so you kind of have to really manually check every day on your own so i ordered the red ones about two weeks ahead before the black ones i i checked when i could when i remembered to um and one day they were the black ones in my size were actually on and i just added it to cart and then i just ordered it so you kind of have to be quick because these sizes will literally come and go and you it kind of sucks that there's no way for them to tell you when your size is in stock but yeah be mindful of that as well if you have a specific color in mind you want don't lose hope if it's out of stock um definitely check and then you'll eventually get the one that you want and of course i wanted the typical basic black and white and um there's the bag same bag nothing else in the box um so with sizing which i wanted to really save for last is um since if you guys know me you come from my other shoe reviews you guys know i'm exact eight in anything and everything so no matter what name brand shoe like sandals sneakers the, it's always going to be an eight so on moon boots website moonboot.com that's the authentic original one i can't vouch for on amazon or asos or any of these other third-party contractors but got them straight off of moonboot.com um their fit guide i wrote it right here they basically said if you are in between sizes, we recommend going one size up. If you are a 38, since they're in European sizes, a 38 would be an 8. We recommend taking size 39 to 41. But I'm not in between sizes, so... I mean, either way, I read the size chart wrong. So, long story short, you guys know I got trigger happy and I read the size chart wrong. In both of these boots, the black and red, I got... 35 slash 38 which translates to us is that what does it say six and five five and six so you guys can tell if i'm an eight and that's a five and six it's not gonna fit but i will say since the inside is extremely cushioned when I put these on, they surprisingly fit. I'm going to hope and pray that the more I wear them, the more the cushion will flatten and mold to my feet, that it will give more space. I'm hoping. So that is why I'm probably going to keep these shoes. Now, my recommendation for y'all and the same as what moonboot.com are saying, definitely size up. If y'all are size eight, just go ahead and order I believe yes 3941 don't do what i do if you're size 7 the um 3538 these shoes will probably will definitely fit you but if you're worried just go ahead and order up 3941 but i'm gonna take a gamble on both of these and just try to wear them as often as i can and hope the cushion flattens out and gives me more space because this is literally toe to toe and i'm surprised because these are supposedly us five and six which i should not be even able to fit my whole foot in but i just don't want to go through the whole return hassle i don't know how that process is but you know shipping it back to italy i don't i just don't want no run-ins but um i'm going to keep these i highly recommend going up a size just make sure you really look at their chart right and don't get a little crazy um if they don't have your size and your color boot that you want just wait it out you know um these shoes are surprisingly affordable i only say that because compared to prices that third party contractors are selling them for the authentic ones straight off their own website are more cheaper than their prices so um these are the icons the icons are i believe it goes for the cut length because they do have an ankle one but this is the original icon boots um black red teal purple pink white no matter what color you get they're all 125. with taxes everything said and done it's 150 even so um it's very cheap i remember seeing these on amazon because i i looked them up on amazon when i didn't really know the name i just kind of like typed the description and i remember someone trying to sell it for like 180 something or i've seen them on asos and they're like a couple hundred so don't just go save yourself the time money and effort and just go straight to moonboot.com 
And if you want these same styles, they are the icon. And just make sure to take note of that. I'll show you guys the little sizing chart where it says the icon and it says the other one, the other style. But these are the original ones that I got that I'm going to stick with. And that is my take on these shoes. Um, I will probably give myself about a year or two whenever I go skiing. Um, I will try to update the description box below with how the size turned out. And I really hope I'm really right about these because I just don't want to go through the whole return process. But fellow people, if you are size 8 like me, just go with a 3941. Just <laughs> don't risk it with a 35, 38 because um, in a second I'll show you guys a clip of me comparing my foot to the shoe and how exact it is but surprisingly it's not discomfort when I walk or anything so um keep mindful of that all right guys so here are the boots um like I said there's no left and right but I'm gonna go by the tags meeting right here in the middle um I'm gonna show y'all on the outside um my foot compared to the actual boot since these are supposedly a US size 5 and 6 and I am a US size 8 and mind you I am flat footed as well so I'm gonna put in my right foot to show y'all and um here is my foot of course and it's super close it's it's literally toe to heel um I don't normally wear it like this I don't even know if I'm putting it on exact so it could be like this so it literally toe-to-toe -to -toe. there's like literally no space in between but like I said I'm really hoping the um cushion goes and flattens but I'll show y'all like this it goes right where's my toe at I came and tell because it's literally super cushioned all around from the bottom top side everywhere um even with these ankle socks that are very thin um they it filled my shoe up it feels a little tighter versus having no sock on my foot and just having a bare foot. So mind you, if you do plan on wearing thick socks, definitely size up, y'all. If you are a size eight, just go for the 39.41. Don't do what I'm doing. Um, like I said, hopefully they flatten out and then hopefully I have a little more room, but they don't feel too bad, honestly. So there they are, they look kind of cool. But that is my take on these boots. Pretty much just order straight off moonboot.com. Save yourself the authenticity of the boots. Order a size up. If you're a size 8, get 39.41. Um, and that's pretty much it, I believe. Check the description box in a couple years and we will see if I am right about these shoes or not and if they ended up fitting. But thank you guys so much for watching and staying in tune. I'll catch you guys on the next video.